All right, we are now joined via Zoom uh, by Dr. Michelle Groom. She is a head of division in the Public Health Surveillance and Response at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases to help us understand the nature of the new variants recently detected uh, in South Africa. Doctor, thank you so very much uh, for availing yourself to SABC News. We appreciate it. Good afternoon. Let's start with talking about how these new variants are, are sort of detected or how they are identified and how different they are from each other and how one then picks that up. I suppose for those of us that are not uh, in, in medicine, it can be a little bit difficult. But if you, you can perhaps explain it for us, you know, in, in, in layman's terms, in yeah. terms of how different yeah. these different variants really are. Yeah. So I think what we usually do, so you know that you would go to um, for testing if you had to develop symptoms and we would do a nasal swab. Um, and so those are sent to the lab and we'd be able to do a PCR um, to be able to detect um, the virus. And then certain of those samples, um, and we have been specifically um, trying to prioritize sequencing of travelers that are coming in from India, as well as those um, from some of the clusters that we've been seeing lately. And so we would take those samples and there are several labs in the um, genomic sequencing labs around the country. Um, and they would take those samples and then um, what they really do is look at the, the DNA and the genome of, of, of the virus that was taken from that individual. And so they would look at certain points along the DNA um, and they can identify, so a mutation is really just a change in some of those those DNA points um, in the of the virus, um, and so the the part that we're really interested in is is the spike protein, mm. um, and so that is the part that our body. Um, will recognize and a lot of the antibodies that we are making is against the spike protein and so there are those are the mutations that we're most worried about so there are many many variants um, of of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that we'll be that we are seeing but only some of them are variants that we are concerned about and yeah. so these are known as variants of concern um, and so what we've picked up over the weekend was was actually two of these variants of concern that haven't previously been circulating so as you'll know the B1 1351 has become the dominant variant in our country um, since about you know late November, December. Um, and now we've detected, as you've mentioned, those four of the B16172, um, which was the variant which was first detected in India. Mm -hmm. And we also detected some cases of the B117, which was the variant that was first detected in the United Kingdom. Um, and so these variants have actually spread widely across the world, including ours. Yeah. Um, um, and so we, in the lab, we can actually have a look at the DNA sequence and pick up these different mutations. And some of them have mutations which are similar and some are slightly different. Yeah. Um, and so that's, I think, is yeah, the easiest way to explain it. Uh, uh, doctor, let's get uh, you know, a little bit more specific then. <laughs> Obviously, where I was mm -hmm. going is the concern around the variant that was discovered in India. So perhaps let me yes. just be out and clear about yeah. that. Um, yeah, you know, I've sure. heard, of course, that uh, you know, this, this, this variant um, isn't as severe or isn't as dangerous as perhaps other variants that we've already um, experienced in South Africa. And, and I, I don't know if that's you know, a dangerous thing to be put out there but certainly this is something that you know we have been hearing and maybe we can get just some clear uh, clarity on that in terms of whether or not you know and, and, and in terms of the strains how bad or not bad is it I mean it, it really yeah. is you know something that is quite important to discuss as we watch you know what's happening in India mm -hmm. I mean the last couple of weeks have been yeah. really very scary for us to, to, to take yeah. note of so one really wants to understand um, this the this, 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 this strain that is now sadly uh, landed Landed on on our shores. Yes. Yes, so definitely. So first of all, I think it's not the only strain that's circulating in India. Yeah. So there are these three strains, including our one that is there. Um, but I think we we actually don't know. The strain that's currently circulating here, the one that we is our, is our dominant one, is a relatively bad strain. Mm. I mean, it's got several mutations, and we know that it um, is, is more transmissible um, than the previous strains that were circulating here. What we don't know is how it compares to this new strain 
strain that is first detected in India. Yeah. So we don't know whether it would be more transmissible and there's not a lot of data being able to compare one strain directly to another. Um, there are some indications in the UK, they've also detected the strain that's been, um, was first detected in India, um, the B16172, and there so are some indications that it is, um, it is being transmitted in, in several um, areas in the UK. Um, and so it's too early to say whether this is going to be able to compete um, with the strain that is currently in our country. Um, and, and it would need to have an advantage over the strain that we've currently got. Mm. So it would need to be more transmissible. Um, or the other way is if it could evade some of the immune system and our antibodies. So it needs to have an advantage for it to now become the dominant strain in our country. So it's really too early to say. We would need to see whether we we're seeing replacement of our current strain. Mm. But at the moment, the strain which we currently have has is, is regarded as one of the more um, concerning strains. So, so it's, it's, we, it's, we don't know whether this new one will actually be able to compete with it. All right. Uh, Dr. Groom, a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much uh, for mm -hmm. giving us all that uh, information. It's really very much appreciated here on Good. SABC News. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Thanks. that is uh, Dr. Michelle Groom. She's the head of Division in Public Health Surveillance and uh, Response at the National Institute for Communicable uh, Diseases. Uh, there. All right.